What's up guys, it's Pragma. Today we're going to be talking about how to get some easy passive income while farming. This is a crash course on farming. I wanted to make this video real quickly just to help you guys get started because that's the first step and then you can always learn later more as you go. Now while farming won't let you buy full pen gear in a couple days, it is a solid source of income and will get better and better. I actually personally think it's quite fun and relaxing. It's super easy to set up and it only takes 5 or 10 minutes every time you want to maintain it. So the very first thing we're going to do is press M, open up your map and you're going to head to Heidel, which is at the very north-ish of the map, just south of Velia. Head here and then open up your find NPC function and then just type in fence. Now there are many different fences, but what we're going to want is the strong fence because you can plant more crops. We're going to find Flaviano. Find Flaviano. Talk to Flaviano when you find him. Hit the chat button and then hit rent strong fence. As you can see, it costs 10 contribution points per fence. You can have up to 10 fences. So if you really want to get into farming, invest 100 points. You can get contribution points from quests and all kinds of other ways. Rent the item and then boom, you have your fence. Then we're going to head to Velia, which is at the north of the map. We're going to head to this little cliff right here, which is just a little bit to the left of Velia. Now, the reason I put my fences here is so that I can always have my farming off available for Vel on Sundays as well. I also love Velia because, wow, look at that view. Press escape, go to central market and type in seed. Organize it by the price. Now, what you want are the special seeds. These are all special right here and these will net you money. You can get more than one with each each harvest so you can sell them right back to the market and make some quick money and right now the paprika seeds will net you the most profit but in case you're watching this in the future this might change so just type in seed and then get whatever is the special seed at the top open your inventory and as long as you are in an area where you can place a farm you're gonna right click on that fence here's the fence as long as it's within the blue area you can place it there we're gonna place our fence here now when you have the crops walk up to the center of the fence press R for place mode go ahead and place all these seeds into your fence to start growing them. Now you can click on it and place it here and press the space bar or what I like to do which is faster as you can see there are shortcuts here that will auto populate with whatever seeds are in your inventory. To make this even faster just place your fingers on the one key and the space bar key and then you're going to plant them quickly by pressing one click space. One click space, one click space, one click space, and one click space. Boom super easy to do. Rinse and repeat. Go around all 10 fences and plant them. I also suggest planting your crops in an easy ordered way. Don't be that guy that plants crops all over the place like this. If you do it in some sort of ordered structure, it'll make you a little bit faster as you get used to it. Keep in mind, this does use up your energy. When you have the fences up, you're going to want to click on garden to check on them. Special hot peppers that I have right now grow in about two days. When these plants are done, you're just going to walk up to it and then press the plant breeding button. Now, I do suggest making a hot key for this on your alt. It'll make it go by a lot faster. As you see, the button here is F5. So press escape, go into settings, go into interface, find the F5 key here, and then you're going to switch that to any key that you want. This will make it go by a lot Lot faster. Just keep doing the plant breeding for all of these crops. Sometimes you're going to get just one seed back, but the profit starts kicking in when you get more than one, as well as other fruits. So when you are done, you're going to hop over to Velia to the east and then go to the central market vendor. Talk to the central market guy and you're going to be putting all these seeds back into the market. Then just go and sell these and then profit. As you're farming, you're going to get a bunch of random seeds. The fruit of crimson flame, just sell it to the market. But as for the rest of these, for every 20 that you have, you're going to be able to make an amazing stone tail fodder, which nets you a lot of money. Just press L and go into your processing tab. Go into simple cooking, which is this one. And as long as you have 20 of two or more products, you can combine them. So right now I have 59 mutant plants and 50 unusual fruits. We're going to hit start. Since we have at least 40 of each, we're going to be able to make two stone tail fodder at the moment. We also have 40 plant with rotting roots and at least 40 with seed half <laughs> eaten and make some more stone tail fodder. Now you can use any combination of these to make them as long as you have 20 of each. Now you can use that stone tail fodder or you could just sell it right back to the market and just bank. Now having a big inventory space can be important. So you may want to do some main quests on your alt real quickly just to get those free inventory slots. If you don't do anything with your crops for seven days, your fence will automatically go back into your storage and you will lose those crops. Make sure to harvest your farm at least once a week in order to prevent this. Make sure you purchase silver embroidered farmer's clothes at least plus two to increase that farming experience. Get some seafood cron mills to get that extra life experience and that extra life skill mastery. Keep in mind your plants only grow wild while you are online. Now, of course, the most important tip here is to plant the seeds that you get from each harvest straight back into your farm. By doing this, you're gonna make sure that you're not actually investing any more money into the farm and everything from there on out is profit. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Go hang out with me on Twitch. Smash that like button if this helped you at all. And please leave your favorite farming tips down below in case people wanna learn a little bit
bit more. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. And don't forget, grind harder. Let's go.